An axe murder with blood dripping from her grisly weapon. Or a mummy wrapped in rotten bandages. What about a razor-sharp hook where her hand should be? No, no. A zombie with sunken eyes and all stiff-like. <laughs> Sounds like Kristen's up tonight. We're, uh, trying to guess what act she's gonna pull to scare us. I liked it when she dressed up as the prom queen. Yeah. So whatever it is, I hope she gets here soon. Whoa. Peace. Love. Duh. Cool. <laughs> hey, where'd you get that stuff? Up in the attic. I, uh, think my parents were old hippies or something. <laughs> here. Groovy, man. And here. <laughs> Whoa, suck it to me. <laughs> What's this got to do with your store? There's an old saying that goes, if you don't learn from the past, you'll be doomed to repeat it. My story's a little different. In my tale, if you don't learn from the present, you'll repeat the past. And meet your doom. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of Locker 22. put anyone out here for years, but we're busting at the seams. I don't know where all these kids come from. Uh, Locker 22. Home sweet home. Um, it's kind of far from things. Are you complaining? No. Look, I've been here far too long to take grief from a transfer who's only been here five minutes. I'm sorry. This will be fun. Good. Welcome to Derby, Miss Dufo. Now, carefully, suck the liquid into the pipette, like so. And hold your finger on the end so that it doesn't run out. Simple. Don't do that. We'll pick it up tomorrow. Next time, we do it with acid. <laughs> Keep moving, bozos. <laughs> hey, you okay? Yes. Hi, I'm Chris. You new here? Yeah. It's no biggie. What's your name? Julie. I never work with things like this at my old school. Oh, uh, where are you from? Paris. My parents came here for business. Oh. Well, don't sweat it. You'll pick it up. You lost yet? <laughs> Everybody does it first. This place is huge. Hey, what's your next class? Um, all right. You know how to get there? Mm -mm. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you. Thanks. <laughs> you scared me. I thought everybody left. Let's go. I'm coming.
Donnie. What do you, uh, what do you think of the new girl? I don't know, kind of weird, Fritz. See what happened in chemistry? No, no, what? Well, she had this straw thing, and she sucked up the water. Yeah. Then what? Well, <laughs> then she sort of did this. Did I say something about giving me grief, Miss Dufault? But, sir, I didn't... If you're a troublemaker, you crossed paths with the wrong man! What are you looking at? Burn out now, you're not gonna make it. Hey, you okay? I, uh. I saw something. What? Um. I saw. Uh... You saw? Oh, forget it. Come on, Julie, what'd you say? You promise not to laugh? Cross my heart. Look, I know this sounds crazy, but I think I saw a ghost. Forget I said anything. Oh, Julie. Because you pretend to be nice. Wait a minute, wait. I should have seen you come in. Wait. Julie, I only told one person. I didn't know they were gonna make it news. Well, they did. Now everybody thinks I'm the crazy new foreign kid. Listen, I did it for a reason, okay? I'm sure. Hope you all got a good laugh. Scare you, although I didn't think anything could scare you. That's because you're a ghostbuster. Stop it.
those beads are so far out. What did you call me? I'm sorry, moon dance. This necklace is like boss. Whoa. Be cool, be cool. Waiting, Miss Warren. We have to talk. Look, I'm sorry about what happened. That's all I can say. You said you told someone about what I saw for one reason. What was it? What? Look, look there's been stuff going around about a ghost haunting this place for years. I know somebody who knows somebody who said they saw it. That's all. I didn't mean to embarrass you. Wait. I want to show you something. Look, I got to go, right? Please? You owe me. Over here. Look. Whoever at my locker before put a flower sticker there. See that? Uh, yeah. yeah. This necklace. I found it in my locker. It must have belonged to the same person. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. So? Look around. The paint is old, like nothing has been done for years, right? Look, I'm sorry about those guys giving you a hard time, but you're getting a little spooky on me, all right? Spooky? You haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> What happened? How'd you do that? I don't know. It happened to me before when I put on this necklace. It's like I jumped back in time. Candy! Who's this? Uh, you don't know him? No. Are you new? I don't know. You don't know? If he figures it out, invite him over tonight. I got the Beatles White Album. <laughs> Bye. Beatles White Album? Look at this. See? This is my locker. This is the flower. Candy. That girl called you Candy. Miss Warren. Schaffner? Mr. Schaffner. Who are you? Um, I'm, I'm new. Learn some manners. Now, Miss Warren. Not tomorrow, not next week. Now. But. No buts. I'll stay late today to help. But if your chemistry project isn't done by 4 o'clock, you'll be staring at a big fat F and summer school. You dig? Groovy. I'll meet you in the lab. Groovy. Something strange happened, Chris. Yeah, tell me about it. That was Schaffner. But he was, he was young. I know. It's like if we're back in the 60s. How could that happen? You said it was your necklace. Take it off. Oh, man. Oh, man, this is wild. It is the necklace. It has some kind of power. Candy. That girl called you Candy. Who is Candy? I don't know, but we can find out. Come on. Hey, hey, come here. You 
See, I'm checking 1968. You know when the White Album came out? Bingo. What? Candy Warren, Locker 22. Yeah, that was a locker, all right. Who is she? I don't get it. Why isn't she here? Check the next year again. I checked three times. She isn't here. There. That's her. That's the ghost. This is real, isn't it? I guess. We can't both be crazy. Why is Candy showing herself to me? And why do they think I'm Candy? I don't know. Listen, whatever's going on here, we can't handle it, all right? What do we do? I don't know. I feel like she's trying to tell me something, Chris. This is happening for a reason. Maybe. Oh, come on, let's get out of here. I have to get my books. Let's talk tonight. Okay, later. You're here late. Mr. Ratto, you've been teaching here like forever, right? <laughs> yeah, I suppose 30 years is forever to you. <laughs> Did you know Candy Warren? Candy Warren. Haven't thought of her in years. I'm sure, I knew her. Sweet girl. Such a tragedy. Well, how did she die? Was she like sick or something? Oh, heavens no. It, it was a horrible accident. What, a car crash? No, no, it happened right here. A derby? Miss Warren, now! She was staying late after school on some chemistry project or something. Apparently she got a little careless. And there was... Explosion and fire and it's hard to even think about it now. Why do you ask? Who was the teacher? Oh, well, many years ago, I. I don't... Thanks, Mr. Ryan. Oh, oh, it, it was Mr. Schaffner. Before he became assistant principal, he worked in the chemistry department. Nice of you to join me. Julie! 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 Sit. Sheets, thermometer, beakers, and a pipette for measuring. Smell. Could you, um, explain what we're doing? We're identifying compounds by determining their melting points. Or would you like to skip right to summer school now. No, no, I want to try. How do I do this? That's what this test is about now, isn't it? I'll give you a little hint. Turn on the gas and light the burner. After that, you're on your own. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Julie in the past? I hate this stuff. 
Listen, Candy, she's gonna die. You gotta stop her. Don't you check your equipment, Mr. Schaffner? Oh my God. You could have been killed. Don't know what to say. Say it in the wrong line of work. Thank God you saw this. If you hadn't... I would have been toast. So that's how Candy died. Yeah, I saw her. She brought me back. <clears throat> Can I ask what you're doing here so late? I, um, I was helping her with the locker. It's stuck. <laughs> At least it was stuck. Oh, I know. It used to stick for me all the time, too. For you? That was your locker? Oh, back in the dark ages. You must be Julie Defoe. Nice to meet you. Who are you? I'm the assistant principal, Ms. Warren. Candy Warren. Gentlemen, my office, please. <laughs> the end. Far out. Solid. Psychedelic. Um... Nito? 